Recitation negates negative karma. Standing beside the door, he was dumbstruck, his cheeks bulging and eyes wide open. He was so frustrated with his own carelessness. Marching in waves, an army of glossy black ants had captured the kitchen in no time. They seemed to be showing off their trophies of war while singing a song of triumph. Taking large strides, he hurriedly lifted the kettle. He poured hot water onto the ground, angrily and vindictively. The scalding water splashed down like hellfire, almost completely annihilating the ants. They appeared to wail silently. After several rounds of this, he finally felt relieved. He looked contemptuously at the surviving ants and how they were carrying their dead companions. However, one night he dreamed of a malevolent black sea that dragged him in frantically. Oh my! He was shocked amid big, black and densely packed jaws. He was struggling. His hands and feet were revealing frightful skeletal structures. Actually, several days before, he had found himself swelling and itching all over, as if scalding by hot water. He had to drag himself around to seek treatment. He was as restless as ants on a hot pan. What else could he have done? Having experienced days of fear and nightmares, his was in low spirits. His ailments made him weak. He was stark and thin. Luckily, a Dharma master visited him at home. The monk compassionately explained to him the workings of cause and effect, and he was advised to recite Amitabha Buddha's name and dedicate the merit towards removing negative karma. Now he was recovered merely by reciting Buddha's name. It was the great light of Amitabha Buddha that turned enemies into friends. It also shone right through his dark, fetid mind to generate fragrance and warmth. Thank you. Namo Amitabha Buddha.